Here's my August 2022 update on savings accounts to help you find the highest paying rates for your money. Let's start off with an update on the inflation rate because inflation is really important when it comes to savings. You want to, in an ideal world, have a savings rate which is higher than the inflation rate. Sadly, right now, and it has been for a while now, for the last three or four months, that has been impossible, okay? We're now at 9.4% on inflation. Obviously, day-to-day, -day, lots of areas are higher than that, but when it comes to the official rate, 9.4%, that's how much things are costing compared to a year ago. They're that much more expensive. The best savings rate you'll get, maybe 5% for some of your money, most likely below 2%, most likely below 1.7%. And we'll come to those different accounts in a minute. So it's not good news, and we expect this to get higher. Imagine it was going to get more than 10%, maybe more than 11% when we get to the autumn. And this probably means, and there's going to be an update on the 4th of August, they will do another video taking you through exactly what happens and what it means. But when it comes to the base rate of interest, which does then inform so much of the, the rates we get on our savings, there is speculation that we could see a 0.5 percentage point increase, jumping from 1.25% to 1.75%. That will be the largest single increase since 1995. Obviously, yeah, make sure if you don't want to miss my update on that, hit that subscribe button. I'll tell you all about it when it comes through. And when this does, whatever happens, whether it's a smaller increase than that or no increase at all, very, very, very unlikely, almost impossible that it'd be a cut. But whatever happens, uh, it won't be that we'll see that in our savings straight away. However, I think a few of the savings accounts, they're trying to, they're anticipating this. They're thinking we're going to see a large increase uh, over the next, if not at the beginning of August, maybe in September after that. And the big one, the one that's kind of shot straight to the top of the Best Buy tables is from Virgin Money. They are now offering on their linked savers account. So to get this, you have to open up a current account with them, have a current account with Virgin Money. You get a linked account and you will get 1.71%. This is the highest that Easy Access accounts have been for a long, long, long time. It is an increase before Virgin Money were given 1.56% and it was the second best one. There was a brief period where you get 1.6% from our Ryan. Can we talk about all these ones different later on the best places for your money? But fundamentally, this is uh, quite a big increase we've seen from them just in a space of a couple of months. They went from 1% to 1.56% to 1.71%. They are now the highest paying account to get uh, for your easy access savings, money you can get at any time. There is a limit with this account. Only up to £25,000 will get this rate. Anything above 25k, you'll get 1%, which is better than nothing, but I would still move your money elsewhere, anything above 25k, if that is the case. As I mentioned last month in the July update, it may still be possible to get more than one of these accounts. My account is still open. I opened up an extra one, even though the terms of this will say you can't, and if you do that, money will be returned to you. Hasn't happened to me yet. I'll keep an eye on this, but I wouldn't go overboard on this. I wouldn't go crazy, but maybe, maybe you could sneak in an extra account if you have got the need for more than 25K of savings. Of course, that account, the current account that you open to get this linked account, that offers 2.02% on savings up to £1,000. From that point of view, that's quite handy as well, let alone for the additional accounts afterwards. Uh, what does it mean in terms of moving your money if this interest rate rise does come along uh, in the next few weeks? Will we suddenly see loads of more accounts jump up beyond that? I'll talk more about this in the next video when we know exactly what's happened. But yes, I would expect us to see more of these rates increase. So maybe, maybe, maybe uh, you may will find that other accounts go past the Virgin one in the next few weeks or maybe in a month's time. Who knows? I would still move my money if I've got it into this Virgin Money M Plus uh, linked saver account get 1.71%. Very, very hard to beat that. One place that I would absolutely, this, this rate, what this does mean, I think, well, in terms of ditching other accounts, yes, maybe ditch a Chase account, move it across, maybe ditch money you have in other places if anything is less than 1.71%. But this absolutely is, for the time being at least, the last nail in the coffin for premium bonds. As I talked about in the June update, they did increase the prize rate from 1% to 1.4%, but 1.4% does not mean you get 1.4% return. So let's say you had 10 grand in premium bonds, it does not mean over a year you will get 140 quid. It's very, very likely you will get less than that. Maybe 100 quid, maybe 125 quid. Remember those prizes are in 25 installments. Maybe if you're really, 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 really lucky, you'd get 150 quid, so a bit above that. Very unlikely you get 175 quid. So realistically, I think for most of us, the best you're going to hope for here is the equivalent of 1.5%. Realistically, you're probably going to get 1.25% uh, rate equivalent. You may get less than that. You may get nothing. If you don't have much money in there, anything less than five, six grand, maybe you get 25 quid if you're lucky. If you've got 100 quid, 1,000 quid, you probably get nothing at all. Right. 
The best you can get then, we're saying, if you're really lucky, is 1.5%. You won't get a million pounds. You, you should know you won't. It'd be nice, but you won't. Versus 1.71%. It's a very clear distinction between the two now. Of course, if premium bonds, national savings investments turn around later on in the year and go, we're going to increase it again, I'll review it again. I'll give you an update in one of these videos. If it's particularly uh, something lots to talk about, I'll do a separate video just on the premium bonds. But for now, I would move your money out. But hang on, stop. Depends when you're watching this. Although this is my August 2022 update for savings, I'm publishing it on the, what day is it today? It's the 28th of July, just a few days early. So wait, wait until I would say maybe the 3rd of August to take your money out of premium bonds because you want to make sure you're in that first prize draw. Whether it's zero, 25 pounds, or any of those installments up to a million pounds, you don't want to take your money out of it before the 1st of August because if you do that, you will not be part of that prize draw. And the reason I'm saying 2nd or 3rd of August before you move that money out and put it into that Virgin Money account is because if you do win something, well, then you can withdraw it at the same time rather than going back and doing an extra thing for an extra 25 quid, maybe 50 quid if you're lucky. So that's where I am on that. Why we're on NSNI, National Savings Investments, is worth just letting you know that they have also increased the interest rate on their direct saver account. This is an easy access account with a guaranteed return. So not like the premium bonds where maybe you win, maybe you won't, you'll get a guaranteed return. This is now offering 1.2%. So it's an improvement on what it had before, but as we've just covered, it's still way, way, way off what you can get elsewhere. So again, this is not one to sort of move your money to, and again, not one to keep your money in. The only kind of uh, reason you might want to have more money in an NSNI direct saver is because it is protected beyond the £85,000 financial services compensation scheme protection you get in other accounts. It's actually £2 million will be protected there by the government. So if you have a lot of money that you need access to, you're not going to lock it away and invest it or put it in your pension or in your home or whatever, in your mortgage, whatever it might be, then yes, maybe that's something to consider for some of your money. But the bulk of it, up to 85k in another account, obviously with the caveat, just rewind slightly, that caveat, remember that Virgin M Plus current account, £25,000 is the most you can put into that link saver and get that top rate. So you will need over a joint account or maybe sneak around and get another one beyond that to get close to 85k. Now, I've got some sad news for you here. Uh, one of the best buys I've spoken about since October, actually, has been an account called Claro. Now, it's only been available app only for iOS, but it has since October last year been offering 2% on balances up to three grand. And until the last few months, when we've seen a few increases here or there, it has been right at the top of my Best Buy table. And I imagine a lot of you probably signed up as a result of me telling you about it. Sadly, they announced in the end of July, about the 18th of July, that they are closing the consumer facing, the customer facing side of the business down. So they offer things like free coaching, they offer the chance to do investing, but they also offer this savings account. That is all finished, that is over. They won't do it anymore. As a result, you will not be getting any, uh, be able to get the interest on your savings there. Your money will be returned to you if you don't withdraw it yourself. However, the good news is they will pay interest as if you had the account for 12 months. So I open mine in October, that means closing it at the end of July, I also get some interest for a little bit of July, August, September, and a little bit of October, even though my money won't be in the account. They will pay this out you know, ahead of that in the anticipation that you would have had that money in there. If you opened it on the 14th of July, the day before they said they're gonna stop doing this, well, you will get the interest, the equivalent interest, added to the balance for the full rest of that year. So if where we are now at the end of July, you'll get another 11 months of interest added on without your money even being there. So in some ways that's a win because that money that you take at that initial savings, you can save it somewhere else and get more interest on there. So you are actually gonna be winning here in the short term. Uh, how to, what happens, important things to know here, the interest, this future interest is based on the balance you had in the account on July 15th, okay? So assuming you had the full three grand in there, that's what the interest would be based on. If you had 50 quid in there, the interest would be based on 50 quid for the rest of that time. What do you need to do? I have got a whole article that goes into detail on this over on BeCleverYourCash.com. So head over there and read more about it. It's important to go through this. But very briefly, you can take your money out now. You can withdraw it straight away. You do not need to leave it in there. And then they will calculate how much money, extra money you will be owed and they'll make that payment again later on. You might wanna wait for all the money to be in there and withdraw it completely. I think just get that cash out, put it in a different savings account. It could take four working days for that money to reach you. Put that in a better place. Um, and then when that bonus comes in, make sure you also take that out. If you do nothing at all, when the accounts are closed in uh, mid to late August, then that money will just be sent to the linked account you set up earlier on. 
Now, if for some reason you have changed that account, just double check that account is still active on there. But if you've changed it, then you have to get in touch with them to make sure there is uh, the correct details for them to pay that money to you. Now, I want to do a quick update here on the Nationwide Flex Direct uh, current account, which is offering 5% on interest. I mentioned this last month, and I've had a lot of people commenting, oh, but you've got to pay in £1,000 a month. What's the point in doing that? Okay, so let's clarify this, exactly how this works. To get that 5% interest, and remember, you only get this the first time you have that account, you only get it for 12 months, and you only get it on the first £1,500 you have saved in the account, but you also then need to pay in £1,000 every single month for the interest to be applied for the, uh, in each month. So you miss a month, you won't get the interest that month. The important thing here though, that money does not need to stay there. You can transfer it straight back out again. So what I used to do when I had this account, I'm no longer eligible for it because I've had it before, I would transfer in a grand, leave it a couple of days just to make account for weekends or bank holidays messing things up, and then I would transfer it back out again. I would do that by standing order. It was all automated. So I didn't have to lift a finger, it just happened, okay? Uh, and often I would do that the day after my salary went in. So I got paid and I would also actually, slightly more complicated, I would cycle the money around a number of different accounts. But that's a conversation for a different time. I have got another video. You might wanna check this out about how I manage multiple reward current accounts. That will give you more information on that. But essentially, that's all you need to do. Or you can do it manually. Go into your app, transfer money in from a different bank, transfer it out. It doesn't even have to be in a single lump sum of 1,000 pounds. It could be two lots of 500 four lots of 250. It could be the same 250 quid goes in, out, in, out, in, out, in, out. All it means is a thousand pounds has to have gone into that account at some point. Or if you don't have any additional money, you've only got the 1500 pounds, so up to 1500 pounds, I would suggest you have the full 1500 pounds in there to really make it worthwhile. Well, you could take a grand out of that and pay it back in a grand, you know, simple as that. But if you do that, bear in mind, if it's out for longer than a day, it will impact the interest you get by small amounts, but a little bit in there anyway. Now, on my recent live q and I do those every couple of weeks here on the YouTube channel. I had a question from one of the viewers about the Santander 123 account. Uh, back in June, I didn't bother telling you about this, but they increased the savings rate on uh, the 123 account from 0.5% to 0.75%, and you get this on balances of up to £20,000. And this viewer said, now this has happened, is it worth, you know, this account worth considering again? Well, there's a reason I didn't bother telling you about it before, it's because it's very, very simply, the answer is no. You pay four pounds a month for this account, four pounds a month. You also get cash back on your bills, but there is a Santander 123 Lite account where you get cash back on your bills and no interest for two pounds a month. So effectively what you're doing with the 123 account, you're paying two pounds a month, 24 pounds a year to get access to a savings account paying you 0.75% on balances of up to 20,000 pounds. That is almost 1% less than you can get with that Virgin Money savers account. So no, absolutely no point having the Santander 123 account paying four pounds a month because that interest is worthless. It's just a way to catch people in who are either not on top of things or aren't aware of the wider market like you guys are because you'll watch this video. So do not do that. But I would still recommend the 123 light account for cash back on your bills as long as you're paying your, more, your main bills. Again, I've got loads of content about that account on the blog, on the YouTube channel, so you can uh, find out more about how that works. Now, one last thing to tell you about before we get onto my top picks of the savings accounts, highest paying accounts for August 2022, is to tell you about a loyalty regular saver from Yorkshire Building Society. Now, you can only get this account if you've had a, a savings account or a mortgage with the Building Society for the last 12 months or more. And that rules out a lot of people. It rules out me, which is a shame because this regular saver pays 5% and you can pay in 500 pounds every single month, up to 500 quid. That's head and shoulders better than any other account out there right now. That is a fantastic amount. Obviously, remember, with regular savers, you won't get the full 5% on six grand, 500 a month over 12 months. No, because it averages out roughly half of that. Again, a whole video on regular savers, which explains more on that. Um, but uh, it's a very, very good account. So what I have done in anticipation, because this isn't the first time that Yorkshire Bill and Society have done this, I have actually opened up a savings account with Yorkshire Bill and Society now, just today at the end of July. And maybe in a year's time, when I've been there for a year, they'll offer some fantastic account, maybe the same one, maybe a better one, who knows, whatever it is, and I'll, hopefully I'll be eligible. It took me two minutes to apply online for a, a savings account. I put a quid in there, that was the minimum I could transfer in. And actually you can do this by debit card. So a bit of a tangent here, if you have a Chase debit card, why not put one pound and one pence in? Because you'll also get that 99p roundup, hopefully. I thought about this too late. I did a one pound transfer because that was the minimum, but actually I could have got 99p earning 5% in Chase as a result. Um, and let's leave it like that. I'm going to leave a pound in there. 
see what happens in a year. Fingers crossed, I'll be able to get 5%. Okay, let's finish up then with where to put your money right now, August 2022, the highest paying accounts for, depending on the different amounts of money you might have saved up. And let's start off with your initial amounts of cash. Now, if you have 1,500 pounds saving, then that top buy for me, top place is that Nationwide Flex Direct account, as long as you're eligible, based on the things we discussed earlier on. You can also get a joint account there. So potentially if you're a couple, you could get that 5% on four and a half grand, which would be absolutely unbeatable. But I'm gonna focus here just on those solo accounts mainly. Now, whether you can't get that, or maybe you don't have the full 1,500 pounds, then I would look at instead, or perhaps as well as on top of that nationwide account, the Virgin Money M Plus current account. It only pays 2.02% and only on a grand, but you can't beat that otherwise. Uh, you will also be able to get a joint account with this one. And as I mentioned earlier, you may potentially be able to go and open multiple versions of this. You're not technically allowed to, but it does seem that maybe you can do that. Now, where'd you go after that? Well, obviously that Claro account is now gone. So we're looking here at the best easy access accounts. And as we discussed right earlier on the video, that Virgin Money M saver that comes with any of the current accounts pays 1.71%. Anything up to 25K you can put in there. So I think most people, that's gonna be the place to put your money. I would maybe sort of hesitate about having all your money in the Virgin Money current account and the Virgin Money savings account in case something goes wrong with Virgin, maybe have some money set aside elsewhere that you can access, but broadly, that's the number one place to go. Now, if for some reason you don't want that account or you have more than 25K, I've got a few other options here. The next highest paying account is the Yorkshire Bill and Society. We mentioned them earlier on in terms of waiting a year for their regular saver. You can get up to 1.6% there. It's 1.6% if you've got more than 50K. It's 1.55% if you've got more than 10,000 um, pounds. And below that, it goes down to one5 five, I think 1.48, but if you've got more than 10K, that's not a bad option at all. You can actually beat that though, um, on any balance with our IAN, 1.6%, uh, but this is an expected return rather than uh, interest because this is a, a Shariah account, absolutely fine. Won't be a problem with that, but just worth bearing that in mind. Now, if you want a big name, then Nationwide has a triple access current account, which uh, savings account, which means you can only get the money out three times in a year. Obviously, if you have to take money out a third time, then just move, take it all out and put it in to um, a different account paying more. Because if full for after three accounts, the interest rate drops uh, massively. That pays 1.5% right now. Uh, they have been increasing regularly over the month, so I wouldn't be surprised if that one sort of jumped up again in the next few months, maybe to 1.6, but I don't think it's ever gonna be a top best buy. But if you're looking for something ethical as well, yes, the nationwide and the Yorkshire Bill and Society accounts, I think they are good options for you because Bill and Societies are quite ethical as well because they basically their money goes on mortgage deposits. The vast majority, they're not going to be investing in things you might not agree with. But if you want something that's maybe proactively environmental, then Tanzan pays 1.35%. I wouldn't be surprised if there's an increase from them at some point in the next few weeks and months. Uh, they claim to be sustainable as well. Not a huge amount of information about exactly what's going there, but that's not a bad bet for you. Now, there have been no changes to the regular savers this month other than that one I mentioned from Yorkshire Bill and Society. So I'm not gonna go through those. Just check out last month's video. However, I will give you a quick update because you guys are always asking me, what about fixes? So here are, if you are considering locking money away, some places you can put it and get higher rates. I'm only gonna talk about six month fixes and 12 month fixes because I think in one year, that's the most you really wanna go in for right now. But you may choose you wanna go for two, three years, four years. It's up to you. Six month fixes. My community bank was a credit union that pays 2.01%. Or if you go for the National Bank of Egypt via Raisin, you can get 2%. Again, these six-month fixes means your money is locked away for six months. Raisin, incidentally, and I have spoken about this in previous videos, if you go via a link on my website over at becleveryourcash.com forward slash savings, and you're new to Raisin, you've not used it before, and you save at least 10K for six months, you will get a 25 pound bonus. So there's a little bit extra on top, might give that one the edge. If you're thinking of locking away for 12 months, again, my community bank, 2.76%. Gatehouse, again, go via Raisin if you're eligible to get that £25 bonus, 2.75%. And Tandem, again, we mentioned, good ethical option there, 2.75%. In fact, credit unions are pretty decent on ethics as well. So they're all decent options for you. Now, before we end, so often I get comments off this and you're saying, but what about this bank? What about that bank? What about that bank? I'm telling you the best buyers right now. And these things will change. So make sure you do for a larger list, a more complete list, and for updates every day, I'm looking for what changes in the best buy lists. Be clever with your cash.com forward slash savings. You'll find many, many more accounts there. And also if you haven't mentioned an account and it's paying higher, probably means because it's a new account since I made this video. My name is Andy Webb. Thank you so much for watching. If it's been useful, make sure you comment below, make sure you share this with your friends and watch these videos here 
for more on your savings.